Looking forward to eight races on the Polly on Friday and chatting to Gavin Smith about the yards runners. They start in race one with King of Queen, two good seconds in his last two starts and he took well to the Polly last time out. Yeah, Nate's holding form nicely. Um, very good run last time out and uh, turf for Polly. He's definitely a runner, he's doing well at home. In race two, we'll see a Venetian Moonlight. Now, she's come on with each run of late and worked her way closer. She'll be joined by Keenon Kelly, and she's at best on Polly. No weight to carry. Exactly that, mate. That's, that's why I ran them. Um, you know, Keenan Kelly's got the lightweight and decent draw. And uh, Venetian, like you say, she's come on every run, and, and she had a nice forward race last time out, so expecting them both to be into the quartet. In race three, run for me while well, he's run two good seconds in his two local starts so far. He'll be joined by He Knows, who will step out for the yard for the first time racing of Western Cape form. Two nice horses, um, nice clean sound. And run for me, Nate, he was a little bit stiff last time out, um, but yeah, expecting a forward run from him. And he knows his work's been good and he's been around the poly. I also expect him to be knocking. In race four, Heartsease will appreciate the claim and Demigod will enjoy having her peak run. She's also down in class. Yeah, uh, Demigod exactly that. Um, her race picked for her because of, of the class. And it's just, you know, she's at uh, the bottom end of the higher class and she's at the top end of this class. And we cracked a decent draw, so expecting a good forward run. And, and Heartsease, you know, she, with her weight, got the claim so she can fit into the race as well. Um, the top of this type of division. And uh, I wouldn't leave her out the back in the quartet. Race five, three runners here, Life on Mars, while well, he's in super form. He'll be joined by Heya Fiatcha Lakatol, who cuts back to the six furlong trip. He'll be a fitter horse. And Pompey Warning, he's in fair form. I, uh, yeah, cut him right back down to the 1200 metres, Nate's no, just going to ride him cold. Uh, he likes, likes it like that. Top of division he can pop up in. Yeah. And uh, Life on Mars, he's fit and well, loves track and trip. And um, Pompey. His last run, you know, run a little bit off his feet, so the tall run should be a bit better for him where he can run, you know, give him a little bit more chance and he can travel better in the race. Another three runners in race six here. Gimme's Laddie is going to step out for the yard for the first time in the Eastern Cape as well, and he'll race of quite a lengthy break though, just short of a year. Tuscan Gold is holding a steady form, and Great Melody posted a positive comeback run last time out. Yeah, Kimmy's Laddie, uh, also a nice type of little horse, um, but he's had a long break. Now he, he may have just needed the business end, he's had two gallops, um, but doing well enough at home to warrant consideration. Great, uh, great melody, 1200 metres, he always seems to be his max, but he has been running on in his races, and he's fit horse now after the break, and I uh, also expect him to be knocking. And um, Tuscan. Tuscan Gold, he's raced well enough on the poly, but um, he, when he's had bad draws, he's had a bad run, so he's got a decent draw, expect him to be in the first four. Two sprinting fillies in race seven and uh, Golden Pacific, she's trying hard to make you take notice. Now there's a lot to like about her on Friday. She's in super form. She's got a great draw and she's got the claim four, so lots of positives. And uh, she'll be joined by Paris Lass who races freshened up and loves the five furlong trip. Yeah, no, it's, um, Golden's not a big filly. She's a small little girl, um, you know, and if she didn't have the claim, she'd have a lump of big weights and luckily, you know, we've got a claim off her back and she's got a decent draw and uh, she loves the track and trip, so she's got to be a definite runner. Um, Paris's last run on the course and she won very easily and it is a preferred sur for surface, I feel, and um, she's got Muzi up for the decent draw, she should also be a runner. Race 8 is the last of the day and here we will see a Benelong Point and Duke of Orange. Now Benelong Point, always about the action, always thereabouts and definitely one to consider here. Duke of Orange, his slow starts have been costing him of recent but he always powers home late. Exactly that, Nate. So I've uh, sharpened him up at home. Uh, it just depends if he's you know, going to be too far back off the pace and where we are on, in the race on Friday. He's always got a good finish on him and he can run into the money. And uh, been along a little bit, little bit unfortunate last start. He got struck in the face twice at the crucial oh. time um, as he was unwinding type of thing. So he would have run closer and uh, you know, he's got to be a runner as well, Nate. That's very important feedback to note and uh, that certainly would slow the finish of any horse. So look for even better from Benelong Point. Thank <laughs> you.